I'm Cesar Delgado from Back Roads of Illinois podcast. Welcome to the show with us. I am joining with Gracie Murphy on the show for today. Gracie was a national officer in the National Fair in Indianapolis, Indiana. She came from Macon, Illinois. Show with us for today. I am excited to meet you on the show. Well, I'm excited to meet you too, Caesar, and I'm doing pretty well today. Thank you. Let's start with your story and your journey to become a national for chapter. Could you explain to the audience about this? Sure, I would love to. So my journey in FFA started when I was a freshman at Macomb High School back in 2017 and um, had first generation FFA member. My grandparents um, grew up on a farm. They raise corn and soybeans or grow corn and soybeans, but I wasn't a farm girl myself. So nobody was really pushing me to do anything in FFA. Um, but then I had an advisor that just didn't let me say no to anything <laughs> he knew would be good for me and I just kept taking on opportunities and eventually that led me to becoming a state officer within Illinois and then I got to be a national officer from that so really grateful for my journey and um, started off not really expecting to do anything in FFA and ended up um, spending six years in the Blue Jacket and making some of the best friends that I have to this day because of FFA. Awesome. What were regret to be a financial level? Could you tell to our listeners? Sure, good question. Um, I mean, I try to live my life with no regrets, so that's kind of been my motto because regretting something isn't going to change anything. Mm -hmm. um, but if I could go back, I wish there were some points where I I was more present in the moment. Um, but like I said, you learn your lesson, you move on. But I think sometimes when you get to a certain point and you start having this title and people start thinking that you're this amazing person, then sometimes you get so caught up in the the cameras and the interviews and the, um, you know, people wanting to ask about you, you, you all the time. And sometimes it's hard to escape that and really serve the members and be present with the members um, and do your job, honestly, as a national officer. So if I could go back, I learned that about in the middle of my year that the titles and the interviews and the pictures and all that stuff didn't matter nearly as much to me as being able to hear somebody's stories and being able to add value to them and being able to tell somebody that they're enough just as they are. And that was really my goal as a national officer. So if I could go back to the beginning of my year, I wish I wouldn't have spent so much time worrying about the image of myself or <laughs> presenting this amazing mm -hmm. mm -hmm. person. Um, instead just focused really was present in the members um, present in the moment and focused on sharing members stories yes ma'am that's good point about it that you are not growing farm but you like to be in challenge to yourself and the effort sidebar that what do you recommend for those who are thinking about the F yeah um so what i would recommend to anybody that's in ffa right now but not sure if ffa is for them or not um i would recommend just trying everything um and not listening to what your family or friends say because ultimately it's your life that you're living and there's a lot of really great opportunities in this organization to meet a lot of incredible people, but also get to know about yourself and get to see your passions. Um, when I started high school, I thought that I wanted to be a doctor <laughs> and that's what I wanted to do as a career and um, learned very quickly that I was not meant to be a doctor and not to work in the medical field. Um, and that was because of FFA, because it, it showed me, led me to a passion within the agriculture industry and in helping people. And that's two of my biggest passions right now. So um, I would just say, try anything. Um, 
if you can, don't say no, but also don't pressure yourself um, to, to do the, to be the best at everything, you know, just try to have some fun with it. Try to just learn about mm-hmm. yourself and learn about others because ultimately like success in the organization isn't mm-hmm. about how many titles you have or how many contests you won or how many awards you have. Like all that is great and wonderful and something to be celebrated. But at the end of the day, the organization is really just there to help people come together and support people while supporting the agricultural industry. So if you can leave the organization saying that you've made a few friends and you learned something about yourself along the way, then you're successful in the blue jacket. Finally, what is your agricultural or career in Southern Illinois University in Carbondale? Yeah, so in January, I'll go back to Southern Illinois University, Carbondale, and I'll be double majoring in agricultural communications and agricultural business and economics. Um, not really sure exactly what I want to do as a career, but I think that's kind of the exciting part. I've never been somebody that has to have a plan. I just kind of do what I like and roll with it. So um, I'm passionate about agriculture and I'm passionate about people. So um... is there anything would you like to go to tell the audience about your experience and the organization? Well, sure. Um, I just want to say that I think one thing this year has taught me is um, there's a lot of value in just being real and being authentic and being yourself. And I think something I've learned this year is anybody can put on this show, anybody can spat out statistics and spout out information about this thing. But um, it's really hard to teach somebody to have a have a heart for what they do um, and to be genuine and just be themselves. So um, I guess what I would say is, you know, don't don't try to compare yourself to people because of how smart they are, educated they are, how quote unquote perfect they may seem because in reality I think there's a lot of value in just genuinely having a love for what you do and being able to show your authentic self and that's something that I don't think everybody can do and that's something really really hard to teach people so um, my advice to anybody out there is that you're enough just as you are and don't undervalue um, the authenticity that you bring to the table. My pleasure that you joined the show for today. Thanks. You're welcome to the show with us for any time. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure myself. Mm-hmm.